Welcome to the vlog for Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. Uh, and as promised, I'm here with my full thoughts on the quarry, which I finished two days ago, um, but I didn't have a chance yesterday. So here is your review. Um, so chapter 10 was the last chapter I played, which is the final chapter in the game. And honestly, I think chapter 10 alone kind of made my opinion of the game go down because like I was really enjoying the story and like the decisions and stuff until chapter 10. Um, where, like, I got a character killed, basically, because, like, I, like, there there's a sequence, basically, where you have to, like, shoot something, and I missed the shot, and the character just died instantly, no other way, like, no, like, saving them, it was just, like, they're dead now, uh, which I didn't really like, and then similarly, there was another character, that, there was a very, like, binary choice, and usually, like, you know, there'll be, like, in the game, you'll get a lot of, like, run or hide, and I have a feeling no matter what you pick, like, as long as you're good at the quick time events, you survive. Um, but for this decision, it wasn't run or hide. I'm not trying to, like, spoil the game. But uh, this one was really dumb because it has you make a decision. And basically, like, the second that you choose one of the two options, you just die instantly and there's nothing you can do. Um, so, what you know, there like, the whole game was really good about, like not like condemning you to death just for picking like one decision for the whole game until chapter 10 where it just seems like they gave up um and the end of the game wasn't really super satisfying like you do get a bunch of answers to like a lot of the lore and mystery and stuff but like i don't know it wasn't presented in the best way so like overall the game is good like i like this type of game and i think if you do too you'll enjoy it but it wasn't until dawn which uh I was hoping it would be more similar to it was kind of unpolished and all over the place so you know not my favorite um uh super massive games game i've ever played but you know what can you do and then this saturday we're going to canopy lake park which i definitely will film uh it's my favorite amusement park uh it's up in new hampshire um and it's just a, a grand old time been there pretty much every year since i was I want to say like 10 at this point, um, and I've loved it every time. Uh, so I'm excited to go back. The new water park is expanded, which is great. So I'm excited for that because it's going to be really hot on Saturday. Um, and on Friday, I get my car back, which I'm also very excited for because the rental car I have, uh, not my favorite. So today we're going to GameStop. So a few months ago, I bought Elden Ring, which uh, a lot of people love. Um, it's not that I think it's bad, it's that I definitely don't have the patience for Souls games. This isn't the first time I've tried, and 
I think this is gonna be the last time I try. Um, so we're trading this in because GameStop is doing 20% extra credit towards specific game trade-ins. Um, and I got word that Live Alive is one of them. Um, and I've been more and more interested in Live Alive. Um, so I figure with it coming out next week, I might as well get the 20% extra credit. Um, I also wanna get Digimon Survive, which comes out in two weeks. Um, but I'm not sure if that counts for the promo or not. So that would be my first choice, but um, I'm gonna see what the guy says when I get there and then we'll see what I pre-order. Um, so I'll get back to you guys later after I do that and we'll see how it goes. All right, we made it back. So quick update, uh, we got, got the receipt. So basically what happened is Digimon Survive doesn't count for the 20% extra, which is pretty, stinky if you ask me so uh i pre-ordered live alive um i got 39 dollars towards it which isn't terrible because the game is 50 and i'm a gamestop member so i get like the monthly five dollar off coupon so when all and said is done it's going to be like five bucks for live alive because it's a 50 dollar game and i figure i might as well try it um I have a feeling this one's going to be a bit of a more obscure Switch game uh, when all is said and done. Um, I don't see a lot of people talking about it, and most people, like casual fans, don't really even know what Live Alive is. Um, so I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the more rare games, uh, or not rare, but sought after, like after the Switch's life is over. Um, I'm pretty, I, I like to say I'm, I'm pretty good about like predicting these things. Um, I, I was a big predictor that like WarioWare Gold and, uh, Luigi's Mansion remake on 3DS were going to be a little bit more expensive. And I think that's panned out. Um, same with like Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if Live Alive is one of those ones that turns out to be more expensive. I'm also, I, I have, uh, I have big bets on like Tokyo Mirage Sessions, uh, Sharp FE being also very expensive, uh, in like five, 10 years. Um, but yeah, anyways, so Live Alive next week. Um, also an update on the car. Apparently it's not going to be ready tomorrow. So I'm going to be getting it next Friday, which kind of sucks, but you know, still got a fun weekend ahead, um, so can't complain too much, and I'll get Live Alive the same day as my car, so really they go together. It's like a dynamic duo, really. Um, uh, today I have come back to the house, as I mentioned yesterday. Um, the only problem is my mom is not here yet because she is still coming home from work, I assume. Um, I get out of work pretty early on Fridays, so, uh, I made the trip down here before there was any traffic, which is great. And there's a lot of construction outside for some reason today. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to pick up my car today, like I said, but they messed up. So that's next Friday. So now I don't really know what to do. Um, I'm, I came cause I had the haircut appointment and that's at five 30. So I have like four hours before that. And then I don't really know what else I'm going to do while I'm here. I suppose I could go on my old walking route. Uh, I kind of miss that. The walking routes where I live now are not good. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else is happening. Maybe my mom has some grand ideas for what to do. Um, but yeah, my dad's also coming next week. So when I come to get my car, then I'll probably see him as well. So that'll be a fun time. Um, but yeah, I don't know what, what I'm doing today, so we'll find out. But tomorrow is going to be very exciting at Canopy Lake Park, so I cannot wait for that. Always like one of my favorite days of the summer. Hey everyone, welcome to the vlog for Saturday, July 16th, 2022. Roller coaster. We're here at Chipotle before we go to Canopy Lake Park. I hope that part was in the video because I'll say it again, I'm going to poop myself. All right, gamers, now that we're here... Okay, gamers, now that we're here, we're gonna go over to the cult classic Mine of Lost Souls. Gamers. All right, let's get out of here. Toilet. I'm so excited to go on the Mine of Lost Souls. It's always my favorite. Sunscreen. Go. No, no, like the one that get that I on camera. Get that on camera. Oh, no. Which one? The one that I gave to you. Right? There she is. Oh, I there she is. Quick, ago. film her. Kate, are you excited for the Mine of Lost Souls? What? <laughs> <laughs> that better make it into the into the cut. Mine of Lost Souls? Oh sure. Yeah. Let's All right. do it. Did we enjoy the Mine of Lost Souls? Where did you put it? Was your was your soul lost, Ryan? You got it. You. 
My soul was lost on the ride. Yeah, my soul was pretty lost when Dio showed up. Yeah. It was pretty scary. It was scary. Um, Hunter and Derek are still on They're the dead. ride. Oh, they might be dead. That's yeah. true. They might have been god by the mind. Because Dio tends to kill everyone. Yeah. Very sad. But Hopefully they show up soon, and then we're going to go to the water park, which is very exciting. There they are. They look like they had so they got much into the rows. <laughs> They didn't even sit together. They didn't even sit together? No. I thought they were in love. Yeah, I mean, you know. Alright, we just left the water park. What do you think? It was quite wet, as the kids would say. And now we're going on the pirate ship. Alright, Eric, what was your review? Uh, terrified. I'm literally shaking in fear, as oh, you no. can tell. I feel bad. Um, the ride, you know, pirates was scary, and I'm, I'm, I survived, though. Good job. What do you think? Dude, I thought that was a ride. Good job. What to next? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I think we succeed. Are we having fun, Kate? We're gonna take the swings into the sky. I like to do And then uh, Eric and Ryan feel sick, as do I, after Whiteout, so we're gonna go to the train. We found some geese having a grand old time. Wyatt, I'll, t I'll, I'll take the camera, you jump over there and say hi to them. No. Oh. Did you have fun, Ryan? What, uh, yeah. On Da Vinci's dream? I'm a little drowsy. Was it a dream? I need a Monster Zero Ultra right now. Uh, we can find one. Ryan, you should um, recite the first episode of Interspecies Reviewers on camera. You know, Hunter, unlike you, I have not seen that show. So we're on the yeah, we're canopy train. Choo choo, my guy. Yay. Trains. Get in on this. But there's a beautiful view off the canopy train of the nice canopy lake park. Wait, no, that's just the lake. This is the park. So that's the lake, that's the park. Yeah, you lost the name now. No. Game over, man. There he is in his rowdy rooster. Look at how rowdy that rooster is. He's really having a good time over there. And then Eric is in the next one having a rowdy old time as well. So we're just all being rowdy roosters over here. Eek, if you ask me. A pretty nice night going on over here. That red one's almost like my current car. How's it going, <laughs> Eric? Uh, I would say it is, yeah. It's going? Yeah, I, I would agree with that statement. You're having a good night? I'm having a night, for sure. Oh, okay. Are you having a good night, Hunter? I'm having a night, sure. It's been your favorite ride so far. Uh, put the little like spinny like loading uh, thing on my head. What's been your favorite ride? Uh, I'd have to go with the roosters because I like riding on co- You have to cut that out there. Yeah. That one over there, probably. Oh, okay. Um, my favorite has been the Extreme Frisbee. But this oh, dude, did you hear that? <laughs> the extreme frisbee. But this might be so about extreme. <laughs> on the Yankee Cannonball. So you don't know, so pretty extreme, that's, Hunter. What's extreme? Pirates. Uh, yes. I suppose. Yeah. Well, let's go. All right, so we just got off the Yankee oh, Cannonball. That was fun. That was very fun. That was a great ride. That was, it was quite shaky. The, the wood will one day collapse under me when I'm on this ride. No, it was a great ride. Now the, the uh, park's all lit up, which is great. It's cool. So we're going to go find everyone. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the park at night. The Extreme Frisbee's looking good. Well, apparently they are up there. Hi. Um, which cart are you guys in? Yeah, we're at the bottom. In a pink one. Uh, so you're on the other side. Nice. Let's we're gonna go find them. We're gonna yell at you. <laughs> we're gonna yell at us? Yeah. Why? Uh, because we want your attention, of course. Okay. Uh, let's see. Katie! Eric sees us. Eric sees us. I'm on the other side of the cart, so it's a little more difficult for me. I'm looking at Oh, let's see. It's hard to see with the lights. I see them. She sees us. Hello. I'm terrified. Wait, Kate, how is the Ferris wheel? It was so high. 
Did you have fun? It was fun. Did you have fun? Kaylin suffered. But did you have fun? Yeah, suffering. Fun I had suffered. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. Yeah, it looks fun. You were like, are you by the flashing lights? And I'm like, bruh. Well, some of them were flashing. The whole thing is the flashing <laughs> lights. Well, yeah, right we now can, it is. We can't see those. Did you guys want to go oh. to the sky ride? Yes. To like, Because it's like yeah. right next to the water, too. So yeah, you can like, see really the nice. beginning of the fireworks there yeah, and then yeah. get off and watch that. It is currently Let's go uh, nine exactly. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're on the sky ride and there they are up there enjoying the view. How are we doing? Gamer. Having fun? Oh boy. Gamer! Oh boy. Are you having fun? Gamer. I'm having so much fun. How's it going? Hi vlog, welcome to episode 13 of uh ski lift simulator. Yes. Yeah. Is that Wyatt? He's in! Uh, he is in! This is a crazy, absolutely stupendous day. He has made it on the ride. This is not a drill hunter. He made it on the ride. <laughs> he made it on. Alright, where's Ryan? Uh, duck. No, no, not that way. But oh. There he is. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? I'm filming. Say, um... Eric, get in here. <laughs> okay, what do you have to say about this stupendous development we've just uh, been through? Why does On The Ride? What says you? What? That, that's Thank the you. development? Ryan, Ryan, what's your opinion on this? I think that the economy is doing great right now and that inflation is not a problem. Inflation is not a problem. Life is good. Um, oh, and the stock economy. price is great right Stock now. prices are up, definitely. Don't listen to the Wall Street. They're wrong. Birds aren't fun. real. <laughs> don't listen to her. Words aren't real. Don't don't listen to her. That's wrong. Cut, cut this. They can't know that. Oh shoot! <laughs> All right, you're on. It's live. All right. Camera has a built-in mic, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, cool. I think it's right here. Yep. No, I think it's over there. Ah! No, no, nice. it's like right there, though. Where? There. Where? Look where I'm pointing. You're not pointing. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. look exactly where my hands are pointed, and you'll find it. Caitlin, what do you have to say? I'm very tired. Aren't we all? Talk about the communist agenda. You're, you're, you're not even, like, you're getting half of the face there. Oh. Dude, you're not doing the best job here, man. Well, I can't see what's going on. <laughs> I flipped the screen over. Wyatt's vlog isn't going to like this. Oh, that's fine. This is just more content he's going to cut. Dab. 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 Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Oh, he's spinning. Oh, he's spinning. He's spinning. Bro, this is bright. When I'm watch when I'm gonna watch this in September, I'm gonna be blind. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, Eric's holding it. Like a dreidel. Yeah. <laughs> like a dreidel, man. Oh, he's screaming. He's spinning. Oh, he's spinning. Like a dreidel. <laughs> That's premium content, they don't get that for free. Okay, this this is for the OnlyFans. This is for the OnlyFans, Eric. Um, oh that doesn't need to be done separately. I need to see how much I'll get for it first. Alright, since he cut out the last Dicey Dungeons uh, talk, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, no, talk you gotta get in here too for this oh, conversation. Yeah, yeah. What's your opinion on it? Tell the, tell the people. Uh, I like the dice and I also like the dungeons aspect of the game. Indeed. Who's your favorite character? Uh, definitely Warrior, because he's easy. Easy. What I'm about your witch. favorite enemy? The witch is not easy. <laughs> oh, I got. I, Shut I'm, gonna, up. I'm gonna do so many good <laughs> impressions of the enemies. Uh, oh, name an enemy why? and I'll do an impression. Um. Twig Man. The whatever his name is. Wicker Man. Oh, Wicker Man. Wicker Man. Yeah. Fuck life. <laughs> Pretty good. Zero what about uh, Beatrice? Buzz! What about the thief? <laughs> stereo, That's pretty good. Uh, stereo head. Oh yeah! What about uh, Monty Mole? He's not in that game! <laughs> it's easy. Oh. Uh, accurate, yeah. Uh, I can do Donkey well. Donkey Kong! <laughs> I like the buzz. <laughs> Anyway, I so made that child the cry. The big one. The big one? Who's that? The one you like. I can do wolf puppy. Cornelius? No, no, the one you like. The big, the big Guzzlord. Guzzlord? Oh. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> what about beware? You're gonna warn me first. 
<laughs> no, stop. Stop. Uh -huh. Anyway, so your opinion on Dicey Dungeon. Would you call it a Very good. good game? Very good game. Alright, that's all from us today. Thank you for watching this uh, this playthrough. Last impression, Wolf Puppy. <laughs> and that's all we have time for. Thank you for watching this Dicey Dungeon review stream. Have a good day. <laughs> Alright, what we have to do is we all have to like go at him and yell at him and be like, Oh, I'm such a big fan of the series! Now! There's our boy! That's our guy! Alright. What was the impression of the, of the lad you just went on? It was great. I had a lot of fun. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us. All right, what did you think <laughs> as we're leaving? What was your review? Uh, let's see. The Canopy Lake Park can be best described as a glorified carnival. That's rude. They have fried foods, a Ferris wheel. Yeah. Um, so an carnival amusement games. park. Carnival games. Yeah. So an amusement park. I would call it mid, but I don't really like the rides here that much. Okay. My, well, mom, my mom likes it though, so she gives it a good rating. The only okay. thing that doesn't make it a carnival is instead of crackheads running things, it's 16 to 18 year olds. Okay, so we like Eric's mom because she has the correct opinion. That's what we've learned tonight. Uh, yeah. We As is canopy tradition, we got the popcorn on the way out. We're very excited. Did you have a good day? It was a good day. Hey everyone, welcome to the vlog for Sunday, July 17th, 2022. We've Starly got- Starly Community Day. Yes, Starly Community Day. We're here playing Pokemon Go at this random college. Catching all of these birds. Yep, there's no one else here to catch birds, but we will be catching all of them. We are single-handedly revitalizing the Pokemon Go community. Yes. In this area. So uh, we'll- check in once someone gets a shiny. We're only eight minutes in so far, but no shinies. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Well, two I'm, seconds later, Keon got the shiny. I'm already a happy boy. Look at him. Look at him. That's oh, him. It's not a, oh, there we go. Let's see. What a boy. He's one star, but he's a million stars in my heart. Good. I'm glad. I'm very happy. Hopefully, now time to find a better one and replace him. <laughs> hopefully I'll find any of them. Mm-hmm. We'll get there. We will get there. That was the wrong All right, I just got my shiny Starly. Look at this boy. A happy lad. I didn't want to name him. I wanted to tap him. There we go. And we'll see the, um, the well, he's one star, but, you know, that's okay. He's a guy. He you is a what? guy. You know what? And we love him for it. Yes. Um, is he a guy? He is a guy. It says male. Oof. So there we go. You're right. Thank God. And there's like a dock here for it's some a very reason. Pretty place. So, yeah, this is nice. This is like a lake. Um, they got boats and yeah. stuff. Big speedy speed. See, this is exactly what Niantic wanted. We are exploring the world. And trapping birds and balls. Yeah, that's John, exactly what John Hankey wants. John Hankey only wants this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoken word poetry directed at John Hankey. This is my hit piece. I hate you. <laughs> I don't know why you just give me like a billion XP to do in like an entire day. You know, I'm just lucky egging, doing all this stuff. I've spent a year leveling up and you're like, here's 20 ultra balls, a pat on the back. Here's some raspberries you could have gotten in two minutes from Pokestops. I hate you. 10 million XP for the next level. Suffer. Oof. Never again. I hate this game, but I'm going to keep playing it. You heard it here first. Spoken like a true Fortnite player. Yeah. So we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings now, but we did catch quite a lot of Starly. I got three shinies. What yeah. about you? I'm gonna cook all of these little shiny birds at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get some ranch. There you go. I'm gonna be a happy man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Well, let's go. Hopefully I'll get some more over there as well. Oh yeah. All right, so we've come to Buffalo Wild I'm Wings. Ready to feast. Yes. I haven't had Buffalo Wild Wings in like four months and counting but I'm ready to get my uh, orange chicken, boneless wings with ranch and french fries. Nice, I'm, I'm, so ready. I'm also getting boneless wings with ranch and french fries. Can't wait to cook all my shiny Starlies. Yes, let's go. So we're back. That was the greatest chicken I've ever had. Was it? Yeah, well, nice. it was definitely up there, like maybe top five. Good, Flip good. the bird is still very good. It is very good. So now we're at the apartment. Keon's gonna see the results of his labor. Hard work. Yes. All the... <sighs> and hopefully he enjoys it. I think I will. 
while we had a lot of fun playing two-player Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And destroying everything. We with sure Eevee did. And Bulbasaur. It is quite the game. I would highly recommend two-player on this game. It's quite the experience. I'm now heartbroken that I must depart. Yes. As I struggle to fit into my fans. Now he must leave, but he'll be back eventually. Very soon. Yes. Count on it. Count on it. Um, so today, oh, I don't think I ever shared this, but we got these posters up in the living room now that I finally got around to putting up, and that's really nice. And then we got this, uh, the new chair, so that's fun. So yeah, things are, things are looking better, and then these are all, like, Ryan's Legos and stuff. Um, and then this stuff, like, all came together. So overall, like, living room's doing pretty good. Um, but anyways, I just ordered some Chipotle. Work uh, ended like 20 minutes ago or so, and I don't live super far from Chipotle, so I keep going, which is a problem because it's expensive, but I love it. Um, and then I'm probably going to watch YouTube uh, eat that, and then I don't really know. I'm So I'm really thinking about streaming Super Mario Sunshine because apparently it's like the 20-year anniversary, um, but streaming does like burn me out a lot for some reason, but I, I, like, I'm kind of feeling it. I think I'm going to stream tonight, so that should be fun. Um, and then tomorrow I found out my car won't be ready, which is great. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go see my parents because my dad is back in town. So that should be fun. Also going to see them on Saturday. Um, but yeah, overall a fun time. We'll see what the weekend brings, but that's sort of the plan for right now. So time for some Chipotle. It's sure been a while, but my dad's finally back in town. And you know that whenever he's around, some fun antics are sure to happen. Sammy and Keon are coming along for the adventure, and mini golf is on the menu. I got a train to be able to take down anyone and everyone. Next time on iLife X2 Summer Stories, the mini golf mogul.